Hicks. I'm the author of the Mandolin Dead Man's Tuning series of books and I am here today because my editor asked me to write an article about the seven be best types of picks on the market and so I'm trying out a whole bunch of different picks to see what I like and in this video I'm going to cover different types of thumb picks and finger picks. Um, this one that I'm going to start with, if you can kind of see it there, is a Jim Dunlop. Um, its model number is 94550 and I do a lot of finger picking that's kind of my style but I usually do two finger picking so the other one that I'm going to use is also a Dunlop and it is a zero or point zero one eight pick so those are the two that I'll be using right now <laughs> So those are those two picks. Now, I've got another metal pick, so I'm going to keep the thumb pick, but this metal pick is actually, I don't have any idea who made this pick because it's not stamped on it anywhere, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of hollow, so you can, um, so some of the flesh from your finger can come through it, if you can see that, hopefully. I'm getting to the point where I need bifocals. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, so it's hard for me to read some of this stuff a little bit, but you'll bear with me, I'm sure. Anyway, this is what it sounds like with these two picks. That's interesting because this one, I think, sounds a little slightly more mellow than, the, than this pick um, right here. So, um... I don't know. Um, we'll see. I still like playing finger style with just my fingers, so this is what it sounds like with just fingers. Okay, now I've got another pick, and this is by Slick Pick, and it's a medium gauged. Um, you can see that right there. It, whoops. I didn't mean to knock the camera over. Um, it sits on your thumb. Kind of a nice tone. And then the last thumb pick that I've got is a thumb pick made by Herco, and this is their light pick. It is about like a regular guitar pick um, attached to a loop so it goes over your thumb. So apparently you can play it by strumming, which if you have um, problems, like I get cramps when I play guitar sometimes when I use a pick, that's why I favor finger picking. So a pick like this is perfect because if you kind of get tired of holding it, you can always let go and it still isn't going to go anywhere. That's the Herco pick, and I hope you guys have a good day. I think um, I still prefer my uh, my metal one the best, and because um, I like that nice bright sound that that it gives you. So you guys have a good day. God bless, and I will see you in the next video when I cover a few more guitar picks. stuck on my finger. Okay, let's do, let's do this one.
Hi. Hey, my name is Willie Minix. I'm the author of the Mandolin Dead Man's Tuning series of books, and I am here today uh, testing guitar picks for my editor for an article that I have to write about uh, which type of guitar picks make the best picks. This is an odd looking pick. I know you probably have never seen anything like this. This is actually a pyramid pick, and it's and it's a pick that I got with my oud. And an oud is a type of Arabic Middle Eastern lute, which I'll probably be making videos about that at some point in the future. But an oud is played with a pick like this, where you hold it kind of like this, you pinch the tip with your thumb and your finger, and then you... strum it that way. Bum, 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 bum. So it's an odd little pick, but the material that it's made out of is kind of similar to a thin fender pick. So I have another type. I, I covered a bigger thin fender pick in one of my other videos, the tortoise shell looking ones. But this one I'm going to do the um, kind of the, uh, I guess it's a perloid uh, guitar pick by Fender and again the Fender ones they don't have a gauge so it just says thin so but I've seen these all over the place so here's the the first one I played was the pyramid this is the Fender <laughs> kind of sound pretty similar. Uh, another thin pick that I have is a Jim Dunlop point, oh man these are so hard to read, 0 0.60 millimeter. So this one and it has um, like um, texture on the uh, back here so that you can grip it a little easier but this part is real floppy in the front, so we'll hear how it sounds. Yeah, I definitely hear a different sound with this one as compared to the other two thin picks. So um, we'll see. Now this one's a little bit thicker. This is a Flex 50 by Herco, and if you saw the last video, I played a Herco thumb pick. This is their nylon um, pick made in, the, whoop, made in the USA. I don't know if you can see that. This camera doesn't want to focus as good as I think it should, but anyway. There is the Herco, and it's a little bit thicker than the last one. <laughs> That's what that one sounds like. Um, now another one that is kind of on the thin-ish side is um, one that I picked up at my local guitar store and it's a Dunlop Ultex pick. It's a .73. It's, a, it's about just a little bit thicker than the Herco pick that I just played. So this is um, that one. Hopefully you can see it. And there's a couple other picks that I'd like to talk about but but um, I'm kind of missing. I want to do a felt pick, a wooden pick, and a stone pick but I don't actually have any of those. I used to have a stone pick but I don't know whatever happened to it. It may be in one of my cases. So if I can find that I will actually do a video on that one. But um, uh, these are more of the thin picks that I've collected. So here's what this one sounds like. Some of these picks kind of accentuate a, the buzziness that is already inherent in this bazooki. And then some of them kind of take that buzziness away. So this one I think definitely en enhances that buzzy sound. So that's all I've got for this video. I will see you in the next video where I cover the last of the picks that I've collected. 
and um, it's just going to be a mismatch of whatever I've got. So you have a good day, and we will talk to you next time. <laughs>
a pick stamp um, tool and you can take old credit cards and stamp out a pick out of an old credit card so I wanted to let you hear what that sounded like it almost sounds the same as the others Anyway, my name is Willie Minix. Again, I'm the author of the Dead Man's Tuning series of books. I have a lot of exciting things coming this year. I'm planning on doing a whole series about folk ballads. I'm hoping to get some t-shirts made up that you guys can order if you're interested. I'm thinking about doing a Patreon page. I've got a lot of neat things in the works. And if there's anything that you kind of want me to talk about or make a video of, feel free to shoot me an idea because frankly I run out of ideas and I don't know what to make and then life happens and it's like I get away from making videos for a while and it's something that I really enjoy doing but I you know if you want to throw me an idea I'd be happy to, to talk about it um, I've got several new instruments I'm going to be going over uh, I've got bazooki that I want to cover I've got um, an oud that's a really cool instrument that I think would be kind of fun to mess around with and um, there's just a lot of neat things that I've got in the works. So hopefully this year I'll get some good videos out to you and, um, and they'll be something you can enjoy. So anyway, until then, God bless you. You have a good day and we'll catch you in the next video.